God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Everything God has told you in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Let me shake unbelief. Everything God has told you, provided your spirit received it in your lifetime, you will see it come to pass. Everything God has told you, I'm prophesying to you that in your lifetime, my God will make you see it come to pass. If he says you are lifted in your lifetime, you will see yourself lifted. If he says you will laugh in your lifetime, you will laugh. Do you believe this? When God speaks, he speaks because there is an ability behind his word that compels what he has said to come to pass. Hallelujah. If you ever hear God utter a word as a revealed word to you in your spirit or on the strength of the, an encounter with scripture, you must know that at the back of all the speakings of God is the power to bring it to pass. It says, blessed is she that believes for unto her, it does not just stop at believing, there shall be a performance, not of everything, but of those things that were spoken by the mouth of the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight I want to encourage you, it's an unusual service, shake away unbelief. Don't come and waste your time spectating. Don't come and waste your time doubting. Will God touch me? Will he visit me? And don't just come to clap for others, as wonderful as that is. Let there be an insistence, a holy anger, and a determination. Lord, something must happen to my life today. Lift your voice and pray. Something must happen to my destiny today. Someone who is serious with God, pray. Someone who is determined to leave this place rejoicing, pray. Someone who is angry at the reign of darkness over your life, pray. Kaparatos kaprande gebeleke to sabragatash Skabaranta braska de beleko Sabash kaparante beraketa fraska da balaka to sabrande gete Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God.
even in this place tonight. Don't be tired of worshiping. We lift you, Lord, most high. Most high. Ah, Elohim. Ah, Elohim. There is a river that is flowing in this place tonight. I saw this vision while I was praying. Now I'm seeing the vision again. It's a river that was in Ezekiel 47 flowing from the east side of the temple, flowing to destinies, flowing to lives, flowing to businesses. The river that flows from the throne bringing life to everything that has died bringing life to every dead organ bringing life to every dead cell bringing life to every dead business bringing life to every dead destiny hear ye the word of the lord that which was dead comes alive now 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 dead organs they come alive now dead businesses they come alive now dead destinies they come alive now Dead prayer lives, dead passion for the things of God. Hallelujah. presence of God is mighty even in this place you are not wasting your time immersed in his presence immersed in his glory that is where miracles happen that is where signs and wonders happen that is where transformation encounters happen let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth Let the weight of your glory fall It's our prayer tonight Let it cover all the earth ah. Let it cover all the earth Let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory 
rests upon your life when that glory rests upon your destiny when that glory rests upon your ministry all that will be left is beauty and grace and power supernatural manifestations that's what happens when the glory comes that's what happens when the glory rests upon you let it cover all the earth. 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 Let it cover all. If you're here and you're using a stretcher or you're using a walking stick, you cannot walk. Stand up and begin to walk now. Stand up and begin to walk now. Shabalakon Satabasadesh. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. Shanesh. Begin to do what you could not do now. Begin to do what you could not do now. There's someone you could not move your hands. It's like you had a problem. I want you to begin to move those hands now. Move your hand. Do what you could not do. The healing power of Jesus is already touching people. Touching people. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone you are following online. You have a problem with your neck. I don't know it's like you have the neck bracelets in the name of Jesus begin to turn it left and right left and right the power of God is upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ 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 now i want you to bring out before we sit down all those that the power of god will come on now i will tell you what the impartation is for and then that grace will rest upon them and then will be seated this is holy ground and if you come here you must come believing you must come expecting hallelujah whilst the worship team were singing about restoration i heard loud in my spirit and i will restore and i will restore now i know that this applies to everybody but there are specific families that god wants to visit right now and the power of god will come on them i want you to bring them out right now in the name of jesus every family that has been ordained for restoration by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare may that grace rest upon you now. Please bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that grace rest upon you, representing your family. Representing your family. Every family that has been tied down. You have lost things, you have lost people, you have lost opportunities. I bring you the restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power of Jesus. The restoring power from the front to the back. Whether you are an usher or not, please help them. In the name of Jesus, I bring you restoration. Even as revealed by the Spirit of the living God. Restoration, restoration, restoration. Come up and sing for me that song you sang on restoration. The song you just sang now, where's to sing that song singing on restoration? Restore everything that was lost. Restore. That's the grace that is resting upon you now. Everything that was lost. Restore.
We are still going to sing it. I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus. Every manipulation on the times of your destiny. Such that time has gone. And you've not been able to achieve anything. I place a mantle upon you tonight. Take that grace. May that anointing rest upon you. Restoration. 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 Receive it in the name of Jesus. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore you will restore. Restore Jesus. We know. I'm hearing in my spirit the time has come I don't know I don't know who this word is for but there is an anointing that is coming with this word I'm seeing the number 13 the Lord is saying the time has come receive that grace bring them out receive that grace the time has come it will not be delayed again the time has come the season has come the time has come the season has come by the spirit of the living God the time has come the Bible says to appoint unto them that morning Zion I prophesy to you as by the spirit the time has come the time has come the time has come the time has come in the name of Jesus for someone is the time for laughter for someone is the time for resurrection for someone is the time for advancement but by all means I speak to your spirit the time has come in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing when your time has come it also means every closed door must open please be serious tonight let your heart be open in the name of Jesus anyone under the sound of my voice for as long as you are connected here in the name of Jesus if there is a door that has been closed by witchcraft hear me close by the manipulations of men in the name of Jesus that door opens now 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 hallelujah seven and I'm seeing fire coming on their hands physically physically and the Lord is telling me for some of you by this impartation jobs even jobs you did not apply for your hand is a symbol of productivity right now eight of them I don't know where you are may that fire locate your hands locate your hands in the name of Jesus compelling productivity compelling productivity compelling productivity compelling productivity in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah all this my footballer friends come Your lifting has come. 
Gentlemen, listen to me. Listen to me. You see, I want, I want, let me have your attention. Do you know why I'm praying for you? I'm not praying for you because you are lifting your football boots up. And I'm not lifting, praying for you because you like football. No. We're in a season where God is releasing envoys and sending people across strategic places. Listen to me. The purpose of the lifting of the saints is not just for fame. The purpose of the lifting of the saints is not just for noise. Are we together? There are many of you as ordinary as you are because in addition to your skill, you have recognized that there is a grace that comes upon men. I want to release something upon your life. You will marvel. You don't have to kneel. Father, these gentlemen have come they want to go to the sports in the name of Jesus the apostolic has the mandate an anointing will come on you now and by this anointing may you go to the nations are you ready at the count of three one two three take that grace now take that grace now take that grace now take that anointing now in the name of Jesus Christ may that anointing take you to the nations May that anointing take you to the nations. You will become voices in the area of sports. You will love Jesus and you will serve him. You will bring many to the fold in the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me. I want you to believe that what has come upon you tonight will truly change your life forever. Hallelujah. You believe this? This is more than just excelling in career. You are a footballer. Bring this small boy up for me. Look at this. Look at the little boy. Come. And he's small. What? Don't just bring these children. Don't waste our time, oh, please. I hope the children know what we are doing. If you are a parent here and we call a case, make sure your child is aware of what we are doing, please. You are a footballer. Who brought this child? Who is a parent? Parents, where are you? You are his sister. He's a footballer. How old is he? He's eight years. What's his name? Huh? Derek. What's that, Derek? What's that, Derek? You want to play football? You love Jesus? You too, you want to play football? Huh? Who brought these ones? They, do they want to play football? <laughs> Don't give your parents heart attack home. Some of your parents are planning to have uh, doctors and engineers. That doesn't mean that football is not good. Who brought this child? Your, your son? You are, you're the father? Yeah, yeah. He wants to play football. Oh, you are the parents. Oh, you are aware that the children are here. That's just what I needed to verify. Listen, do you know when children love God and seek him at this age, it is beyond holding the football boot. It's a miracle. I pray that God will bless you. Yeah. I pray that God will bless you. Yeah. And my footballer friend, may God take you high. Yeah. You will play for the king. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every one of you will come back and testify here. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Return back to your seat rejoicing. God bless you. No shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall you won't keep down, no wall you won't take down, coming after me. No shadow you won't light up, no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up.
Praise the name of the Lord. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of July. Hallelujah. God is already moving in the midst of his people. Who is Silas? Who is Silas? You're by the name Silas. This person, it looks from my vision, it's like you're not even inside this auditorium. Silas. Who is that? I just heard the name Silas. I want to speak over your life and then we'll be seated. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying for Silas, yet it's a lazy voice I'm hearing shouting under the anointing. It's strange how these spiritual things happen. I'm praying for these people, yet in the spirit, the sound I'm hearing is the voice of a lady shouting under the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you, Silas, by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord is giving you strange access. Strange access. Listen to what I'm saying. God will give you access to people. God will give you access to opportunities. Let the grace rest upon you right now. Please, I want you to bring the following people out now. I'm seeing, I just saw light from all the in the main auditorium and all of the overflows and the lord is telling me there is something that is coming upon them help them bring them out Play the guitar for me. There are still more people you are bringing out. I'm seeing a book open before me. And I'm seeing a hand pointing on that book. And God is saying it's the season of these people. There is something he's doing. Paratu shatika tabaratusia. Seasons, your season. There's nothing that will stop it. When God has opened that, is the season is open. Bring them out. Oh, 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 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Hallelujah. Who is Jeremiah? I'm hearing a name Jeremiah. Who is Jeremiah? Is there a gentleman called Jeremiah? You are wearing a t-shirt. Jeremiah. 
there someone like that Jeremiah what's your name come I want to pray for you there is a man of God here you are stepping into the prophetic there is I, I just saw like an eagle and every time I see that this is a symbolism of the prophetic the Lord has been training you you do not even know that he's calling you into the prophetic ministry in the name of Jesus may that hand from Zion rest upon you in the name of Jesus the son of the living God Jeremiah in the name of Jesus you two stand here where they are here I want to pray for them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and I declare my God I'm seeing light coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's shifting you to new levels this is what I'm hearing don't ask how it will happen it will happen by the Spirit of God I release that anointing upon you right now take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost please don't lose focus over what God is doing I'm seeing an anointing coming on this my people lift your hands take that grace in the name of Jesus take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ new dimensions of power the Lord is bringing you into new seasons new seasons of grace new seasons new seasons of power new seasons in the name of jesus new seasons of authority the spirit of delay is about to leave now the spirit of delay i'm about to declare please bring those people outside everyone on that apakatos kataya under the yoke of delay at the count of three shout the name jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus i cast that spirit now delay in the name of jesus christ bring them out delay delay destiny delay of the manifestation of the hand of God upon your life oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh Yahweh oh yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah hallelujah I'm seeing a man here this man is a military officer I'm not you, you don't have to be wearing a uniform this man you are in the military I don't know who that person is whether you are in here or outside I can I can presume that there are so many people but this this is someone you're a military officer I want to pray for you you are not wearing you are wearing mufti but you're a military officer who is that person is he a military officer where hold on please two of them okay you were saying something you are a military officer you are a military officer sir yes. where sir in Kaduda I want to pray for you please just bring them out something is happening here I'm seeing something that is very strange I'm seeing the right hand of people on fire 
and the Lord is telling me he's placing something upon that hand just the right hand this will happen all over the congregation now like the right hand of people literally burning with fire literally burning with fire and the Lord is placing something of substance and glory upon your hand madam this woman on red lift your hand i'm seeing an angel pour oil on you i stretch my hands take that grace now bring out There is an anointing that is coming on the worship team the lord is i'm seeing you people climb ladders and the lord is saying he's about to announce some of you there are some of you in a strange way he's about to apparatus kadina katia locating you and lifting you it will happen by the spirit <laughs> madam where are you coming from hold on please where are you coming from you are in this Abuja. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Your days of crying has come to an end in this country. I don't know you. But the hand of the Lord came upon you. And I'm prophesying to you. That that which makes for shame and reproach. My God is taking away from your life. <laughs> Sir. This man. Lift your right hand. Shout Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That name. There is an anointing that has come on you. I'm seeing the Lord is shifting you to a deeper dimension of wealth. This is what I'm seeing. Deeper dimension of wealth. I pray for you, the military officers. I don't know why God asks that I send for you, but I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. May that grace rest upon you to be located and to be lifted. To be located and to be lifted let me prophesy to someone here whatever cloud has covered your glory so that those to see you do not see you to place a demand on that grace as i pray right now fire is going to come on people i decree and declare i tear that veil now i tear that i command that veil before now in the name of jesus christ I'm hearing a name Faustina. Is it Faustina? Faustina or Faustina? Faustina. I'm hearing a name Faustina. Is there someone with that name? Faustina. Please verify. Don't make sure that. Where are you coming from? Abuja here. Faustina. Hmm. I am not one person who stands to give prophecies and all of that. I'm not ready for people's trouble. But I just saw something right now. What is the symbol of the judiciary? Huh? We have to pray. That balancing scale, eh? I just saw it in a vision and I saw it fall to the ground and break. We have to pray for the judiciary in this nation. Something is happening very seriously. This is what I just saw. I would not say this if God did not ask me to say it. Like I said, I'm not, I don't want people to come and be debating and talking nonsense. I don't have that time. But I want you to write this down. Write this down. I don't come out and speak stupidly. I saw that balancing scale of the judiciary just fall to the ground to break. That means God is saying something is wrong. We have to pray seriously. Are we together? Kenneth. Kenneth. Kenneth, I'm hearing the name Kenneth. Kenneth, you are wearing a white dress. Kenneth, is there someone like that? Kenneth. Kenneth. My dear, place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, they will not tell you fibroid is growing in your stomach. 
in the name of Jesus Christ I curse it right now Kenneth I want to pray for you madam this woman come your season has come stretch your hands the spirit that is back of the challenges in your life in the name of Jesus it comes under arrest right now I'm seeing fire burning you from head to toe out of her now in the name of Jesus Christ I curse you by the God of heaven let her go for upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and even holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession be released right now we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is here we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is here we release the sound of the heavens Sound of creation, Yahweh is here. We cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry holy, 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 holy unto Yeshua, Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But Ken, my own Ken, I know you are a pastry chef. But I'm seeing the Lord move you and connect you to another, like a, like a bigger hotel. I'm seeing that anointing is on you. It's coming on you. And the Lord is saying he's connecting you in a strange way. You will marvel and wonder at what God will do through you in this city. It is the anointing. What do you do, my friend? Huh? Are you a student? Yes, sir. But you know you have the destiny of a man of God. Yes, sir. He's called you into ministry. Yes, sir. But you are in a season of training. Yes, sir. Be careful with wrong associations. Eh? God will help you. But all this overzealous thing in ministry, don't waste your time. Just focus and let God build you to be a solid vessel. Can I pray for you? Yes, Lift sir. your hand. I pray that the anointing that makes for encounters, may that grace right now come upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. This man, please tap him for me. Where are you coming from, sir? I'm in Abuja here. What do you do? Don't be embarrassed. I'm a pastor. I'm doing a little business. <laughs> My friend, look at me. Um, man of God. I will... Please look at me, sir. Don't be embarrassed, but I will link you to somebody to help you. Hold on. Help, help is not. Help means with what I'm seeing, huh? Don't be embarrassed, but this is not ministry. There needs to be a total overhaul. Like, complete. This is. Don't be embarrassed, like I said. I believe that God brought you to help you. You see, you can be in error sincerely. You, you get what I'm saying now? You can be incomplete. If I intend to go to Lagos and I turn towards Kaduna, and I fire on four cylinders. I'm sincere, but I'm on my way going somewhere else. And in meetings like this, I'm not, you know, we are not a family that condemns and point fingers at people. Are we together? Once the hearts of people are open, God is willing to help them. But I need to pray for you. Man of God, look at me. I love you with all my heart, but something needs to leave you now. I stretch my hands. I curse that spirit. Lift your hands. Right now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, let him go. In the name of Jesus, let this be the beginning of a new season for him. Now, in the name of Jesus, and you, my friend, this man, I'm seeing something come out of you. In the name of Jesus, release him now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. In Jesus' name I pray, be gone from him. I'm not, I'm praying against something I'm seeing. Let it leave you now in the name of Jesus. So this man of God, I will link him up to someone who will just help you. The Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.
Please be silent, everybody. Just bring all the people who start shouting now under the anointing. Please bring them out. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Hmm. There will be many, many of them. I'm literally seeing it's like a smoke, just smoke, cloud of smoke, just moving all the overflows everywhere. Please bring them out. And I will restore, 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 and I will restore. And I will restore. And I will restore. No power will hold you down. And I will restore. Someone, you are a foreigner. You are not a Nigerian. You came in here. And I will restore. That anointing is touching you right now. Please, don't you think we are wasting our time here? God is visiting people. Definite visitations is giving people tonight. Parakaposhkadiata. Let them go right now. Release their destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit. We're already entering the deliverance session right now. Usually I will ask the instruments to play, but the Lord is telling me to shut everything down. I'm praying. I told you it's not about the ritual of it, it's about alignment. Now, please hear me. I'm seeing two words written. And the Lord is saying, as soon as I announce that word, all those who have been victims of it, that deliverance fire is coming upon them. Two words. I'm seeing one reproach. I'm seeing one shame. These two words. Right now, I stretch my hands. Everyone here. Kabari Katoshia. Bring them out. The power of God is bringing deliverance right now. For individuals and for families shame and reproach that everything that makes for shame and everything that makes for reproach it comes under arrest now there is a lady there is a mighty deliverance coming for you you are a foreigner you are not a you are not a nigerian you came here in the name of jesus i don't know where you are but let that fire touch you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Please play the strings for me. There is an anointing that is breaking business failure right now. This is what I'm seeing. Of course, I know everybody, but there are people who are called into this and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down. You will be surprised to see what happens now as I pray. In the name that is above all names. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Everyone here involved in business of any sort. And it looks like the devil has held on to you. This is koinonia. This is the house of God. At the count of three, I bring you victory and liberty. One two three shout jesus bring them out babu wani kamaruka ya yesu babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka This is very strange this will be the first time I'm seeing this happen. Usually when the Lord wants to touch states, the map of Nigeria would appear and then a hand will point to me. 
the states that the Lord wants to visit. And I'm seeing an anointing and I'm seeing plateau states. This is, I'm seeing the anointing just touching and bringing visitation to people. Now, you belong to that region here. The power of God is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. I'm taking in a vision. The same map is open to me. And I'm seeing a hand touch emo state. Right now, I stretch my hands. Emo. Anyone who... Help them, please. This is a sign and a wonder how God does these things. That all those who are connected to that territory, something miraculous begins to happen. Madam, this woman, no, not the back, this one lifting her hands now. This one. Where are you coming from? Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes. Sir. What do you do? I work in a non governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her, leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Huh? Abuja here. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? The Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity in the realm of the spirit, because you see your identity is what distinguishes you in the name of jesus christ let there be restoration now help her please restoration now in the name of jesus this is my sister i stretch my hands towards you and i pray may god lift you in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ, may God lift you in a way that will surprise you. There's someone you've been having severe pain who will soon begin to pray for the sick. Severe abdominal pain. This thing started October or November last year and it has not left you. The pain is there, severe, sharp, severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Release her now. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth and found that. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth and found that no one like you, Jesus, no one like you. No one like you, yes, no one like you. No one like you, Father. No one like you, Master. You're the God of everything. No one like you. Your faith in God and your faith in the vessel that he uses is the third key that connects you. Third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of God. Now I want to minister deliverance by the power of God. Listen to me. What is deliverance? It's a separation between you and the obstacle. It does not necessarily have to be a spirit. Most times, it's a spirit. The gentleman holding the passport, come.
come. Please hurry up. We have to, we have to rush. Ah. Who is this King of glory? The Lord. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. Where are you coming from? From Abuja here. I want to pray for you. As I saw you lifting that passport, the Lord said, I should use it as a sign to release your entire family. Uh, where are you from? Not where you are. You're... I'm from Imo State, sir. Imo State. Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the power and the glory. I stretch my hands my friend in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God may that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members whether they are following or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God I bring liberty right now passport is a token that gives access therefore every door that has been closed over you and over your family according to the word of the Lord you are given unrestrained access right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Hmm. Separation. Most of us, like I was sharing when I was giving the charge, there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems. The symptoms are there, but let me tell you sincerely, it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem or the whatever problem most times there are spirits that are back of it jesus said loose hand i mean he um, told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years when she was loose then he laid hands on her and the healing happened the healing would not happen if the spirit is there so I want to pray for you now. You will be surprised that for some of you, even before we begin to pray for the sick, and let me tell you this, when it is time for testimonies, testimonies is not only for healing. Some of you, under the anointing here, you get up and find out that something has happened to you. When it is time for testimonies, you can join them too. And let's hear what God is doing in your life. It's just that there's no time. That's why we just limit it. To healing miracles alone but there are some of you whilst you came here you would be surprised that things would just shift like that i hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight remember don't worry a time will come we'll lift it but now i want to pray for as long as i live the devil will not find peace As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. Do you know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property. So that everything that is not you when you see empty houses that are unoccupied people can come and squat there temporary 
but when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place every squatter will go out I want to pray for you now at the count of three I want you to shout that name Jesus and as you shout that name please I want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out we're going to be very fast here there are spirits sitting on the destinies of men there are spirits responsible for disfavor responsible for wickedness there are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities we want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and declare by the anointing that breaks the yoke by the spirit of grace every family here represented all our viewers following from across the globe following from your homes if there be any entity that is not of the Christ causing all kinds of problems as you shout that name make sure you shout it those who are following from your homes everywhere that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation are you ready now at the count of three one two my god three shout jesus release their destinies now please bring them out release them now release their destinies now powers of witchcraft powers in the air territorial spirits sitting upon the destinies of men bring them out very quickly in the name of Jesus we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now we arrest you now please whether you are an usher or not just help the ushers I'm sure their hands are limited whether you are an usher or not someone is under the anointing you can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time we are still going to pray there are families under all kinds of yokes you will still shout that name again this time around not just for yourself but for everyone connected to you so that even if they could not make it for your sake are you ready now father visit families may your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one two three shout Jesus we set altars on fire in the name of Jesus Christ we set yokes on fire let them go let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost let them go open your mouth in one minute and begin begin to declare your release I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations yokes of darkness manipulations of witchcraft is someone praying release your children release your destiny please pray release your ministry release your business hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me two families you are from Kogi state the Lord is taking away the spirit of death I'm seeing this my God Parakatosia wherever that family is represented in whoever whichever individual is here I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now ah from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea your name is through 
Amashali Kesurati Rahasala Branda Gaduska di Brandi Kapa Paruga de Shila Karusia. Hallelujah. Now I'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting God for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad and you've not been able to have that visa this has been for a while is do we have someone like that here it's time for you to go now come please make sure you verify spouse 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 give this man the mic let me don't, how long three years you've not seen your wife yes where is she she's in poland and i came here for a visa and i was denied ah, 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 ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa. It's good for us to listen. We're in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we're saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help her, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. <laughs> Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the waves of the sea, God will toss it here and there. It is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices. They are human beings. And in as much as they have a modus operandi, let me tell you, God is able to show mercy and to grant you grace. We are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process. No, we are people of order. But I am telling you that God is able to step in. And many of you will be surprised. Who is doing an appeal? You are the one doing an appeal. Your paper is behind Your here. paper is there. Go and bring it. I want to pray on it. Your name is to be honored. Now let me pray for all of you in the name of Jesus. Two of you right now, the power of God is coming on you. This is, I saw something that just came from the earth into you. And the Lord is saying it must leave. Two of you among those standing here, I stretch my hands. I don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason but in the name of Jesus the son of the living God it must let you go now two of you the anointing of the Holy Ghost please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child out of her now out now please leave this man up for me Sir, look at me. Where are you from? I'm from Lagos. State of origin? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Please don't be embarrassed. This is a family that loves you. The kind of witchcraft I'm seeing on you. Because I'm seeing you inside a coffin. This is what I'm seeing. I'm not even, it's not even that somebody from the realm of, I'm not a prophet of doom. I'm going to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who is already here. And I'm seeing the month of July. You are on your way towards Auchi. And I'm seeing an accident. Yet the thing has already finished. I stand by the God of heaven who called me. And I decree and declare right now. Oh death, hear the word of the Lord. Let him go now. I command that spirit, help him. Out of him, now. If there is anyone here 
the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life you are walking but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit we have been given authority even over the grave right now i pray anyone here appointed unto death be delivered from death now Can I surprise you? The person who will help you is here now. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord show you mercy. I'll leave it at that. Go. Now for all of you, in the name of Jesus, ah, please don't be embarrassed. The Lord is giving me a very serious. God bless you. I prayed for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here. There is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are, not a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It is not like you are a criminal. But this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not. I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere. But I want to pray for that person. Please, if you are here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand though. Let's appreciate them as they're, if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Can be male or female. When it has to do with demons, it doesn't matter whether you are. Please. God bless you, my dear brother. You are not the only one. I want to pray. This is a family of faith. In fact, hold on. Let me use the opportunity right now. This is a family of faith. And I'm not going to mention any particular thing, but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction, any kind, addiction is something that has control over you. When it comes upon you, you have no control until it destroys you. Come and stand here right now, quickly. God wants to set you free. Quickly, please come and stand. God bless you. Anything at all. Addiction is destroying people. Don't sit back there. You know that this is your chance. Come and stand before Jesus. And while you stand, be praying. Don't just be looking at me. Please hear me. You don't have to come. If you have a child, you should. If you are the one who is who is the victim of this, please come. The Lord will be setting you free. But if you are standing for someone, maybe your spouse or a child or whatever, please just sit where you are for the sake of space. Move forward, small. Those of you in front, they are so. Are you, are you seeing? Look at this. Now, this is not to condemn them. Listen, my, my beloved people, look at me. We are a family that loves Jesus and loves you passionately. It is the job of the church to build and to help. So there is nothing to be embarrassed about. Just make sure that as you are coming, you are really sincere to be free. Quickly come. Addictions, my God. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea. Your name is to be hallowed. 
Now listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? Please, um, if, if, the, if the hall is full, they can just stand where they are or if, okay, those who are already inside, they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their LEDs. It's the same effect. If not, this place will soon be rowdy. Let's just take it easy. Please protocol be easy with them so that no one... People, you see, these precious people are coming because they are tired. Can I tell you, counseling can only go so far in helping addictions. drunkenness, masturbation, pornography, every kind of thing. They are spirits. And let me tell you the truth. It is not about being good or bad. It's about being a victim of wicked spirits. These spirits are territorial. I'm sorry to say it, but most of them come from social media. Most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages. You gather 10 people and I can tell you seven out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service. Because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, Hallelujah. Ah, Hold on. There is, there is one person here, you inject yourself. Who is that? Let me see your hands. Like, I'm seeing a syringe. Now, I don't know if the injection with what, but I don't know if it's inside. Or, don't be afraid. Who is that? I'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe. Who is that? Help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why? This is a lesson to the body of Christ. Most of these people you see have at least one Christian near them. But this our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence. Nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made. You think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you those standing anywhere at all and then those outside those maybe addictions following um, respectfully speaking I know that many of our western people who are connecting please don't think because you are in America or Europe a spirit is a spirit addiction is addiction and you can open mama you can stand in for your child parents you can stand in for your loved ones say after me father have mercy on me. Say it again. Father, have mercy on me. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare as an act of my will that the spirit responsible for this addiction by my God-given authority I choose life I choose freedom from that spirit therefore 
from tonight I declare my liberty in Jesus name get ready the power of God is coming on you right now at the count of three Satan you had your confession the Bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their destinies Parakatoshkadia. i break that addiction go forever in the name of jesus christ and every altar servicing that addiction in the name of jesus i come against you now anything you cannot control has become a god over you be free now be free now now look at me just two instructions to help you for those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance there are three stages to total deliverance and i'll be i'll be teaching you we'll soon get into the series number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern number two is called deliverance through transformation that means your mind has to be exposed to renewal and then number three is called the discipline of conformity you have a role to play say for instance if yours is drunkenness and then you still go back to the bar chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold brought out of uh, uh, the freezer you will go back in, in, in that thing again can I tell you change your friends did you hear what I said Ch don't insult anybody but change your friends some of you you don't have one good friend one good friend a friend to a thief is what are we together so I beseech you by the mercies of God now that you have received this please be grounded in the house of God go to koinonia global you can get the teachings listen to them for your renewal this is not, this is a battle for your destiny number two you can on tuesdays our prayer department meets at the doa uh, you can whether you are a member of prayer band or not you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of jesus christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that god needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh anger like i'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what i taught you right now every wicked spirit male or female i don't care what every spirit of anger can i tell you look at this look at this listen do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married before i start asking them any question the first thing is proper deliverance from these things when you marry somebody you are marrying everything they came with the assignment of a man of god is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home that's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the from the pot and put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again in the name of jesus 
the spirit of anger not just for those who are out here but for everyone here if there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now in the name of Jesus now please let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats please let there be huh? the person injecting himself who is that this lady oh my god let the rest go let she can stay please stay darling i'll pray with you right now eh? the devil is a liar in the name of jesus christ those under the anointing can stay please the rest if you are moving please move quickly we are still we're about to pray for the sick now is someone seeing what god is doing in this place this night Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see. It has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me, don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Yeah. Is someone agreeing with me over this lady? You see, the secret, hold on please, and, and we teach this in, in the school of ministry. One of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people. It's called compassion. Compassion fuels the anointing. If you, are, if, you are, if, if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative, then compassion will well up within you. For as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere, she's from a do state and I am here from another place, you will not be able to help people that way. In the name of Jesus, as the house of God, we declare you free. Yeah. As the house of God, we declare you delivered. Yeah. We will never lose you to Satan. Yeah. The Lord is showing you mercy. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Yeah. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit and every spirit resides legally if it is to function in the earth here it resides in a body are we together and for as long as you have a body you have the legitimate ground the authorization to function within the earth whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. It can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding, as you age, and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body naturally medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things and I have found out that about the most common of these things for men prostrates high blood pressure 
uh, what do we call it again? Paralysis and all these things. Um, what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again? You start forgetting things and all of that. You see that now. And then, of course, women, it comes as all kinds of things. But I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here. I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in scripture, it is time for it to leave. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement outside, those following online. Now, we'll do two things at the same time. Number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer requests now. What I want you to do, please still write if there are things you need to write. I'll give you one minute very quickly. You want to add something, your faith has been enlarged and you still want to add one or two things, write it down quickly and then pass it. May I request that you pass it to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the Lord to step in for you you heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you your children parents spouse company business church the Bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything so there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, we we'll start reading from verse 6. you find that and it says, And the peace of God will garrison your heart and your mind. Very quickly. Now I want to pray for the sick. Listen. I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister. Look, the miracle that Jesus did for her husband literally from the dead and then correction brand new organs the mighty God is able to do this I want to pray for you now <laughs> hallelujah now please lay your hands why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact it's a way of releasing your faith Before God stepped in, we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural. One is passion for God and complete surrender. Number two, we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep, heartfelt worship. Number three is faith. Now you're about to exercise your faith. 
I hope you know that faith is simply obedience. Obedience to the word of God, obedience to the demands that commit God to your life. Without action, you are not walking by faith. It's as simple as that. Faith is more than confession. Faith is more than believing. Faith is your action. Now here's what I want you to do. We're not going to take too much time. The moment I begin to pray for you, others, as you fell under the power of God, miracles began to happen to you, all kinds of supernatural um, corrections. Do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed? It's not just to show that the man of God is powerful. No, you see. It, it, with all humility, at, at this point in ministry, there is nothing to prove again. God has honored himself beyond contention. But the goal is, in coming out to testify, three things happen. Number one, you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully. Number two, it acts as a seal to what you have done. Are we together? The Bible says, we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word, yes. The word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming. So I'm going to pray for you right now. All the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe. As I pray for you right now, immediately I want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out, outside of uh, the local environment. And for those who are here, the moment I ask you to come out, to come and testify, do not be afraid, do not be ashamed. I want you to come out, we'll take a few testimonies, then we'll pray over re the requests and I prophesy into your life. Are you ready now? Please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute. Jesus, step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is. Mention it. Please pray. Don't tolerate anything that does not look like Jesus. I'm beginning to lose hearing. Don't tolerate it. I'm suffering the issue of blood. Don't tolerate it. I'm beginning to have whatever symptoms. Don't tolerate it. It looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in. Step in over my life. Step in over my destiny. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In one of the visions that I had, as God began to release me into the ministry, I saw I was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed. It was like a curfew. But then there were people lying down, some sick, some lifeless, you know, just littered across an open space. And I was outside and I saw them. I felt very, very terrible and irritated by their conditions. And they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that I would do something and I heard a voice that voice spoke to me and he said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry I really believe in the power of Jesus to heal I believe I believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday He's healing now and he will heal forever. The healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of God on display. Are you ready now? Let's pray. The saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy jesus something is happening here I'll sing it one more time. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. 
holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. I was given an example about this a large prostrate, but it's not just an example. The Spirit of God is ministering to me that He's healing someone of that condition right now. It's beginning to happen to you. This thing happened from when you were around 55. It started. All of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate. In the name of Jesus, be healed now. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare. Everyone here who has any blood condition. You've seen Jesus change genotypes here. You've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood. Every stranger in your blood that should not be there. In the name of Jesus, I flush them out now. I flush them out now. Be healed right now. Migraine headaches, the Lord is healing migraines very severe migraine be healed now every damaged organ in your body we declare a brand new organ now the pelvic area for someone you've had severe severe pain in the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now. Please believe it, you are receiving something right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eye conditions. For one of you, you are just beginning to see its symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem. And for others, it's been there for a while. It does not matter how long I command eyes be open now. Honestly, I'm sensing a very, very strong anointing. There's someone, your chest, your chest, that demonic thing around your chest, I declare be released from it now. This is, this is not like you have fever, but many times your tongue just tastes bitter. Very, very bitter for reasons you do not know. And the moment that thing happens, it comes with ill health. It looks like a, a severe case of typhoid. But you've treated it, it's returned. You've treated it, it's returned. It's a demonic thing. Right now, I stretch my hands. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blood condition, I'm repeating it again. HIV, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Hepatitis be healed now. Sugar diabetes be healed now. Severe waist pain. The Lord is healing severe waist pain. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's someone, I don't know what it is, at this side of your neck. As soon as I'm done praying, I want you to check yourself. You will see that a miracle has happened right now. Let that demonic growth leave you now. Amen. There is someone, you are not in the main auditorium, but you are losing your teeth. I've prayed over this kind of condition before. Something is happening and it's like your, your teeth, your gums or whatever is weakening. And a few have been pulled out already and I'm seeing that more of it is, is like it's weak. The power of God right now is bringing you healing and restoration. Amen. Now, anyone who is on crutches, anyone who is using an aid to walk, I declare life and strength to your limbs now. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deafness, partial deafness, total deafness, I command that ear to be opened now. Someone there is like a growth in your throat, but it's inside. It's not like thyroid, but I don't know what it is. It looks like, it, it, it looks to me from what I'm seeing, like it's a boil, but it's inside you with severe pain. Not, it, it looks like tonsillitis, but it's not tonsillitis. 
wherever you are right now as I'm praying the power of God is resting upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ every joint pain hear the word of the Lord I declare be healed now now every other situation whether I mentioned it or not in the name of Jesus Christ I am praying for you inside outside everywhere I bring you life and healing in Jesus name life and healing in Jesus name life and healing in Jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe yes lord i believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god lord i believe i believe yes lord i believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god one more time we believe say Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done. Now, very quickly, go ahead. So, Apostle, this sister here has had migraine for like five years. Migraine. And what happened to you now? Praise the Lord. I, I came with a very severe headache, which is, I'm very used to it. So I came and I was like, maybe it has started again. I went to the restroom to watch my eyes because of, yes. I had eye and my And brain. what happened now? I went to collect my stomach. But when, during the service, I felt a cold sensation in my body. Yes. And everything has Completely gone. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. So sir, interestingly, you mentioned the case of yes, my sir. brother. Yes, particularly sir. Particularly for this lady when you were praying for her and... She has an amazing testimony to share with Go ahead. Yes, please. Praise God. When Papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid, and I was down there, I fell onto the anointing, and later I, I was checking myself since then. And I, did, there is a swollen here before, but... Oh, there, there was a swelling. Yes. You could feel it yes. right now. No, check it. I, 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 I tried check. I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that swollen. I it's gone. It's gone. Are, you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with, with an evident swelling. And now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So, for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain inside my throat. Okay. I can't, whenever I'm swelling any saliva, saliva, I feel serious pain. So I had to visit the pharmacist. They gave me this thing to be taken yes. from time to time and I have a tablet too. But immediately you just called that. I felt this as if something, something melted just... and I swallowed saliva. I want to swallow saliva. I had to take one of these, put it in my mouth before I could feel it. And right now, I feel better. in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defect. Hers is astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light My, You couldn't look at bright light? For how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh-huh. Yes. And right now? 
can you can look at this light yes, and it has no effect on you my goodness are you celebrating jesus <laughs> complete healing for you right now yes please very quickly severe back pain for the past one year you couldn't bend down but now you could bend down bend my down friend comfortably and bend down any pain any pain in the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain. Our mommy has had it for about some years now, but now, Mama, how, four long, years how now. long has it been? Like four years. Four years. Yes, sometimes it blocks. Uh, it's like there's something there. So sometimes when I'm eating, it sort of chokes. And what happened to you now? I can't feel that. Completely. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother. It will never return to you again in the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Yes, go ahead, sir. So, Apostle, sorry, medical team were actually verifying an interesting okay. testimony here. Wow. Please come. So she had, she suffered a stroke. A stroke? Yes, sir. And amazingly, God touched her. What As happened, my dear? What's your name? And Good evening, sir. My name is A.B. Whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had Are suffered this, this can, stroke. Can you amplify the volume, technical, I, help us with the volume? I um, said to myself, I said, her own is more than mine. That means I can get my healing. And whilst I was sitting there, I started moving my legs. It, it How was, did you come here? I, I could move, but I always felt the okay. small, small yes. thing. And then on my lips as well, it's, it's numb. It was numb. Your and lips? Then, yes. And then whilst you were praying, my head, if I held my head like this and shake it, it would ache like it was very heavy. But as you prayed, there was a cold sensation. And even as I'm doing this. My dear, look at me. Look, she's even surprised. Walk. Walk as fast as you can. Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Jesus. Can you imagine the devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady my dear she's surprised look at this look at me in the name of jesus we agree with you that devil goes now never to return in the name of jesus yes sir all right sir so apostle again mama here has been experiencing severe pain aside from her finger then it actually moved into other locations. are you seeing what god is doing now yes. mama what happened to you i told god today to give me a first time miracle even here here, I took paracetamol here today while sitting when I came since. You took morning. paracetamol here? Yes, sir. Yes. And now I'm not feeling any. Check way. yourself. Check yourself. Look at this. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you. In Jesus' name I pray. Are you ready? Go ahead. Oh my God. Look it's at this. There's a mighty miracle here. Look she, at this. She was supported. She couldn't walk. She was supported to come here. My dear, But the power look at of God me. talked out since last year. Oh, look, look how the lady is. My dear, look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke that spirit. I lose you right now. Let her try. Look at me. She was headed here. She couldn't walk. She couldn't walk. Yes. Walk. Walk. Apostle, this is our mother. Oh, this is her mother. Yes, sir. Mama, what is? Are you her mother? She, yes. She was decided for uh, uh, National Hospital on Friday. What happened to her? Just like that, he fell down. Does this thing look just like that? Every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life. In the name of Jesus, I curse it now. Look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady. Just like that? No. Stretch your hands towards her as the house of God. In one minute, let's declare perfection over this miracle. Lord, this that you have begun. 
this lady will not die this lady will not die this lady will not die in the name of Jesus whatever is wrong we bring correction and perfection in Jesus name I pray amen and amen God bless you very quickly there are two cases of swollen hands she said last year since she gave birth her hand got swollen and let me hear her what happened to you straight to the point madam okay apostle i gave birth last year december 13th so my hand began to swell up gradually and then your hand yes this place precisely uh -huh, uh -huh. begin to swell up and then i could not move it very well and then if i move i have this severe pain. and right now and right now i receive move it look at this since she gave birth she could not move her hand my dear in the name of jesus you are healed and you are perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit, affliction will not rise a second time in Jesus' name. You see, another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of God. What happened to you? I came back from work on Friday. Nothing happened to my hand. My hand started paining me. I could not sleep in the night. Yes, this night too, I could not sleep. But immediately I stepped down here. I could bring down my hand. I could use it to stretch myself. Raise it dance. up. Bring it down. Raise it up. Any pain? You are perfected right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, sir. So, Apostle, God has touched another mama. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right, so mama came in from Joss, and she actually said she actually came in, she was taking some drugs, and I think I'll... What happened to, to you, ma? I had uh, pains, waist pain, and then uh, abdominal pains. When you were praying, I was having severe pains. I even took my drug when I was inside my car coming from Joss. But when you were praying, after the prayers... It's gone I now. It's Check gone, yourself. Gone. Any pain? Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen and amen. Who is ready? Yes. So we, we have this brother that had pain. I have abdominal pain. It has been long. It come up and stop. But when you are praying for someone that has abdominal pain, so I get in and hold my hand on my smoke. But and right now it's gone yes. it will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the holy spirit Amen. apostle you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargement now the power of god is breaking out here to the father in any go prostrate so the prostrate. difficulty in the urination so immediately you pray that prayer he called his brother and he asked the brother the father to go and ease himself and now the father is jumping healed but Jumping powerfully. Where? Here. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu State. In Enugu State, yes. My yes. goodness. I, sent, I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my, my mom and I told my dad to try and ease himself. And he told me he's feeling his. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State. In the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave all of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He ulcer. has had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it and now the ulcer symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now, let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so, let's hear you first. Sir, he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. I May you been... never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. Headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down, I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my chest tree, I fell down from a tree. Hit my waist and You chest. fell down from a tree? Yes, sir. And I can't like bend down. Throughout last year, I couldn't do any serious. Bend work. down now. If I should bend down for like five minutes, I will start shivering. Bend so down I, now. I try to bend down, and I still feel myself. Okay, there is nothing. Oh my God! And just when I was having difficulty, at times my breath will start like it will cease. I complain to my parents like at times my breath will will just stop. And, and right now you are healed. 
Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apostle, let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. You know, I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one Apostle, or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Yes. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter, man. Um, whenever? All, I got a job. Okay. I'll feel bitter mouth and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see and what we are saying? very demonic situation this is not an issue of sickness what happened to you now um, I'm completely. No completely everything you have lost let there be a restoration for you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a restoration for you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen so apostle here several cases of migraine and you know healings in the truth migraine I'm seeing the doctor is dragging one lady here. It's like she wants us to hear her testimony. Oh, glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes, these eyes, to see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes for the past three years. But it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen, from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, identify Close the one that was walking. Yes, this is one that is walking. And I could read from what, this, this. Don't time. worry. What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five! Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you, Jesus. What can you see now? I can see three, four, Look five. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Can I tell you, losing your eyes is not a good thing. Believe me, believe me, losing your eye is not a good thing. There were miracles that Jesus would heal one and leave the rest, but not blindness. When he saw blindness, he insisted that their eyes were open. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you as the house of God. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection for you. You go back and you live a normal life with joy. This is what you get for coming to the house of God. In Jesus' name. And diabetes, by the way, you said it. We, 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 we curse that spirit right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Uh, for the sake of time, we may not be able to take all one by one, but can I agree with you? For all of you who have received miracles in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent with you. And I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We are praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family. I'm praying over the request now. I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession. When we pray like this, it's because we believe in the God that can hear and can act. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I receive answers by faith. I receive answers by faith to everything that I've written here. For those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones, go ahead and, and release your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? All the overflows. You are praying now. 
Lord, step in, do the impossible, do the impossible. Remember the last component, faith, release your faith. God is doing miracles right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as long as I live, I will never stop interceding over the desires of God's people because I know that we serve a God who answers prayers. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these requests and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Every spirit that is back of these tragedies, we declare let judgment come upon them now. In the name of... Mike, that is working. Praise the Lord. Okay, thank you. For those of you who have put timing, timing to your requests, in the name of Jesus, it will not delay by a day. Let me repeat it again. If you have put timing on your request, I prophesy to you, it will not delay by one day. Whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered, in the name of Jesus, we overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. We overturn. And we give you what is rightfully yours. Every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the Spirit for this request to be answered, we put pressure on them now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I stand upon this prophetically and I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never be an issue of concern for you again. The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact, your credentials, your whatever it is. Now, this is not ritual. We are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token, a point of contact. Whatever, you can lift your hands if there's nothing. In your home, whatever, anything that is a point of contact. Please believe. Believe in prophetic instructions. Do the impossible. 
do the impossible do the impossible do I stretch my hands over these points of contact whether it is your credentials whether it is your employment letter whether it is your your business whatever whether it is a court case whether it is a summon from the court whether it is a real estate project a project with institutions systems and structures whether it is papers for your ministry papers for travels in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God prophetically I lay my hands on every one of these contacts and I declare I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you the Bible says for everyone that asketh receive to him that seeketh he shall find and to him that knocketh the door shall be opened every closed door over these things lifted I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now hear me for some of you after this service they will call you and by that call you will know you have stepped into a new season everyone lifting your credentials by faith trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray now please listen listen I, it just it just occurred to me I don't know why I didn't say it the whole of the month of March we are going to be dealing with the subject of deliverance demonology and spiritual warfare listen I told you that I want to teach you this I want to settle down please open your spirit by the grace of God God is going to be opening our eyes there is a lot of ignorance in the body of Christ as to the operation of demons foundations yokes destinies the mystery of the blood how to command and walk in perpetual victory the time has come so the entire month of March we're going to be dealing with this extensively let your heart be open our global family be sure to God is going to be giving us explanations and he will be making sense out of the things around our lives in the name of Jesus Christ but for now let me speak over your destiny favor let it begin to speak for you honor let it begin to speak for you speed let it begin to speak for you may every closed door be opened now let every disappointment be turned to your testimony in the name of Jesus may the hearts of your destiny help us be open for your sake in the name of Jesus Christ hear me I pray over your hands the spirit of poverty of lack and of shame of not enough I come by the power of prophecy and I declare shift to the realm of abundance by the spirit of grace in the name of Jesus Christ as you travel I decree and declare you heard the gentleman who said or, or is it the lady from the airport enter the cab and someone just drove with them into the forest can I tell you if it will be for your kidnap you will not enter that car if that plane will crash you will not be inside but if you are inside may it never crash in the name of Jesus Christ 
I pray for you and I pray for your loved ones. Anyone who has been marked to be a victim of kidnapping, a victim of whatever demonic thing, we send angels ahead to stand before them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Whether a word of knowledge comes from me or not, one thing I know is I'm not walking out of here the same way I came. Listen, it's going to be a very quick one. And as I pray for, do you know why many people don't get healed? It's not because the power of God is not in, you know, in a place where God is moving. It's that most of them don't know how to engage. As the power of God rests upon you, do what you couldn't do before and begin to celebrate when it's time to announce miracles don't sit back there don't say i am far there no as the fire of god comes upon you sometimes i ask the ushers to bring the people out it's not showmanship there are levels when god has lifted you every point to be proven has been proven you see when we ask people to come out here who are under the influence of the anointing it is because there is a completion to that process of deliverance that god makes Sometimes I wish we had all the time to prophesy one by one. If I mention a case that is your own, don't waste the time of others and just stroll and come out as if you are taking your time. If you are not sure, sit down. Don't allow someone go back without their miracle because you are careless. Are you ready now? Father, I am ready to receive. Pray violently and passionately. Go ahead and pray. Outside, pray. All the overflows, pray. Online, make sure you pray. Hallelujah. Everybody pray. Sing that stanza once for me and then Yakari. Beautiful stanza. Go ahead, Dave. Sing for me. Everyone pray. Come on. Pray. Tonight is your night. Tonight is my night, an end to oppression, an end to delay. I carry so I'm no longer a slave. Now hell has no claim. My debt has been paid by the Lamb. I'm no longer. Are you praying? Now please listen to me listen to me i'm receiving an instruction in my spirit and i want you to just cooperate with me we're going to shout the word hallelujah which is the word halal yeshua it means praise the lord the name lord is the word adon it means the ruler the owner the absolute manipulator of systems and structures and spirits and men they all belong to him so when you say hallelujah what you are saying is halal yeshua 
praise Adon. Are we together? Praise Adonai, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. We are going to shout this seven times. Just obey instructions. At the seventh shout, many things will begin to happen. There will be a massive deliverance. And please help me now as much as we have many ushers but they are very limited we need to walk very fast if someone is under the anointing close to you whether or not you are an usher if i demand that you bring them out please do help us you can bring them out even if you are not an usher you'll be given the liberty just to come and drop them to help the ushers there's only so much they can do are we together now why do we do this because in this prophetic act is the liberty of many people let me tell you how spirits work I have taught you here spirits walk like an octopus you know how an octopus is with many tentacles many expressions it can touch various aspects of your life and you will think there are many spirits It's the same network of spirits is the reason why when those spirits are casted out of your life or your domain in one moment you will see several things returning back to order hallelujah so we're going to pray don't worry guys okay you can shift whatever you have to shift and then we'll just work with what is available weather is very hot already the angels of god are in this place it's not just the holy spirit the excelling strength every row every place waiting for that stirring of the water are you ready seven hallelujah by the spirit of god i will give you the counting and you will shout at the seventh time i want you to shout with all your heart and that fire will fall opening doors breaking chains bringing restoration blotting out handwritings in experience are you ready father we honor you tonight this is a miracle service proceed by your word and bring liberty to your people to the glory of the name of your son are you ready number one number two Number three, my God. Number four. Number five. Get ready now. Number six. Finally, I release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Let every darkness bring them out. Let every chain, let every spirit that has tied down man Write down destinies. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. By the fire of the Holy Spirit. Every demonic occurrence around your life. In the name of Jesus be delivered. Bring them out very quickly. In the name that is above all names. Spirits of inheritance. Curses and yokes spirits of ancestry by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now sing that song for me again in the name of jesus bring them out
while still praying I want to pray for you right now I'm hearing the sound of chains I'm not seeing it but I'm hearing the sound of chains and I have the ministration in my spirit that these chains represent yokes of delay tying people down and will not let you go forward I pray for you right now let that fire fall upon every individual and every family my God every chain that has kept you in the same position right now in the name of Jesus and at the count of three let that chain be broken one two three break now break now break now break now let that chain be broken 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God all kinds of chains anti-destiny spells be broken now hallelujah the Lord is asking me to pray you have had a strange occurrence where demon spirits come to sleep between the night they use the faces of individuals male or female it does not matter when good things are about to happen listen to me then you go to bed in the night and that molestation happens by the next day the opportunity is just aborted i pray for you now let the fire of the holy spirit anyone under the sound of my voice and you are a victim of this demonic molestation at the count of three be released right now one two three be released right now 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 in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah we're still praying mysterious dreams seeing yourself writing exams without passing seeing yourself in secondary schools homes and places that you left years ago i tell you they have prophetic implications by the god of heaven everything that connects you with yesterday the curse of yesterday the tragedy by god fire is falling i decree right now be delivered 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 now Deborah who is Deborah I'm hearing a name in my spirit Deborah your time has come you don't have to crowd don't worry you just stand where you are Deborah this is what I'm hearing the Lord is visiting a Deborah captivity is coming to an end in the name that is above all names i stretch my hands by the prophetic and the apostolic over deborah the plague of witchcraft be broken now be broken now be broken now over deborah be broken now be broken now i set every altar speaking against deborah on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire let that altar catch fire now i'm hearing in my spirit rebuke the cost that is upon firstborns rebuke the cost that is upon my god fire is going to fall here now if you are a firstborn every cost Baratos Kayata, not allowing you to move forward, making your younger ones to go ahead of you by the apostolic and the prophetic. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Every course of the firstborn, first male, first female, first child, tying your destiny down and will not let you move forward. This is Koinonia. Be delivered now. Bring them out. Bring them out. My God. Do you know what God showed me that I started praying? God flashed the image of people and the various idols afflicting them. I just saw it upon their heads. I pray for you. Anything your forefathers worshipped that is affecting you now, especially if you were supposed to take over the priesthood, fire is coming upon you right now. Anyone 
who is a victim of the consequences of idolatry shout Jesus right now shout Jesus right now shout Jesus right now shout Jesus right now every idol every altar every enchantment you come under fire now you come under arrest now the cause of idolatry I'm still praying the cause of idolatry you may not have known they worship idols they kill children to service those altars and before those who died died they uttered curses and said it would not be well with your children I come by the prophetic anyone here who is a victim of the ill speakings of men consequences of idolatry right now be delivered right now be delivered right now be delivered by mercy be delivered by grace be delivered by mercy there is a gentleman here please listen if it's not for you don't waste our time just sit back but there is a gentleman here you are supposed to be the direct person continuing the idolatry where you come from and you have rejected it and this thing you keep seeing these things in your dreams where is that person i want that person to come i presume there might be a number of them directly you know not assumption you are supposed to be the one to take over the helm of affairs as far as priesthood is concerned please if that gentleman is around whether inside or outside i want him to come out i want to pray for you there is a family that i'm seeing here i may not ask you to come out for space but you are from benway state there is a mysterious altar God wants to pull down now. This thing has affected everybody in that family. Benway State. This is what God is ministering to me. Father, by the Spirit of God, you didn't come alone, no. It was a family. Nobody progresses in that family. No matter what happens. Educated but suffering as if you are uneducated. It's a yoke of darkness. That curse is about to break now. Do you have that gentleman? You are supposed to continue. Did you verify it? Where are you from, sir? Huh? Iju Akure. You are from? Iju Akure. Where is that? Ondo State. Ondo State, Akure. You were supposed to carry on with the priesthood. My father was, he rejected Just a it. moment, let me hear. Yes, go my, ahead. My father was, he rejected it. And of Your father rejected it. So automatically. And then it came to you. But I didn't take it either. You rejected it too. And it seems to have backfired. You will be delivered now, sir. Amen. How about this gentleman? Please, very quickly. I was told that I was supposed to carry on the family lineage. You are an international guest? Yes, Coming yes, sir. from? From Belgium, sir. Okay, what happened? Uh, I was told I was supposed to carry on in the family lineage. My father originally comes from Ijebode, and I was supposed to carry He comes on. from Ijebode? Yes, sir. I see. Yes, sir. And I was supposed to carry on that family tradition. You see, ba, this thing will follow you to America, for wherever it doesn't... A plane does not take away demons. No that you entered a plane to a foreign land if you don't settle this by light and by power that thing will follow you to the ends of the earth there are many people with all due respect in america have you seen people who spend decades abroad and return back like they just came out of prison don't feel embarrassed my dear friend i'm going to pray for you who else why are you lifting your hands? From where? From where? Oh, my Benway people. Hold on, hold on. Be organized now. Remember I gave you a... Just calm down. You are here for a miracle service. Are you a family? No, you are not a family. Let me hear that woman who is crying. Give her the mic. Madam, no crying, straight to the point. Just, okay, go ahead. I'm seeing her with children. Give her the mic. It's two, two years. I bury my Sydney every two, two years. See, even this one has challenges. This my son, every two, two every years. Every two, two years, you bury every your siblings. Every two, two years. Well, Don't I'm worry, I'm, I'm, coming, I'm praying against patterns. There are people who have those patterns, so. 
every predefined time something must happen either someone dies or someone goes down or women return back to their parents homes or men return back anything that is a pattern let me even pray it already in the name that is above all names I say it by the Spirit of God. Receive it all. Every parasco parita barantasiata. Every pattern, repetitive negative cycles. Hear me. In the name of Jesus, I call upon the God of my covenant that if there be anything that is a pattern around your life, let that pattern be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. As you shout amen, let it be broken now. Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Sabao Yahweh Ta da 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 patterns i've seen it all i've seen intelligent people your grandfather begged with phd the son begged with phd there are children they can school anywhere but the only way they live is by begging and they're not lazy and then if somebody emerges and is the one to wipe the tears of the family even an ordinary bike will kill that person any programming against your family in the name of jesus christ i call upon the god of heaven let let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance help this woman let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now let the god of vengeance visit your foundation now whatever you tolerate will keep growing in your life did you hear what i said hallelujah there are people who never eat from their children please listen i'm speaking to you prophetically now they give birth to children but even at 45 30 35 55 Even at all those ages, listen to me, the children will have to eat from the parents. Have you seen people like that? Yes. Parents are retired, but from their gratuity. That's what they will carry to feed the man who has his wife and has the children. When I'm praying for patterns, if it does not concern you, no problem. You can keep your hands when I'm praying about what concerns you. But please, don't lose out this opportunity. For some of you, God has been showing you mercy. Again, I'm praying. Everything that is not written in this scripture, that is happening in your life and stopping your life from being an expression of God's grace, in the name of Jesus, we bury it this night. We bury it this night. We bury it this night. For sake of time, we can't have everybody come, but the families from Benway State, just lift your hands. I don't care what the altar is called and I don't care how long it has stayed my God fire will fall on you as I'm praying for you now physically may something be happening in your village as I pray and anyone I remember I think it was was it that we're still in Zaria listen was it that we're still in Zaria or we had moved to Abuja one miracle service i was praying i remember and i i think god brought a word of knowledge particularly concerning benway now i have no prejudice for any state mine is to minister as the spirit of god leads but i remember seeing a tree and something tied on that tree one miracle service and i had a name called aleku aleku something aleku or aleku something like that and that is a vicious altar some kind of spirit that can make people's leg to swell till they die or make something happen to people. I pray for you, whether that concerns you or not. 
in the name of Jesus. I'm using Benway as a point of contact for every other place. If there is any altar tagging you and not allowing you move, I'm coming to pray for business people shortly. But right now, I break those covenants. Listen, listen to me. I want you to trust what God is doing here. You will be surprised at what happens to you. Please don't feel bad, but God is giving me this word for a particular woman. About a month ago, your daughter died. I don't know if she's been buried or not, but God is saying I should pray for that one person. Your daughter, not your child. Your daughter died. You are the mother. You came here. I don't know whether you are old or young, but your daughter died. This was over a span of a month ago. If that person is here or outside, please let me have the person out. I will pray for you. But whilst we are waiting for that person, I want to minister Imo State. I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and I'm seeing Imo State. Imo State. The spirit that makes only one person to rise, then the rest beg from that one person. This is what the Lord is telling me. Did you hear what I said? Only one person rises and the other people, they only live by begging that one person. It is not the way God helps believers. God's desire, yes, somebody can start, but eventually that people have their own standing too. Therefore, every spirit responsible for that satanic effect in emo state right now be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Be buried permanently. Hallelujah. I want to pray for someone. Your uncle is a policeman. Your uncle, not your father, not your brother. Your uncle is a policeman. I want to pray because I'm seeing them go uh, an operation over terrorists and I'm not seeing the person return. And the Lord is saying I should pray. Don't be afraid. When God reveals is to redeem. Your uncle is a policeman. Who is that person? Where is he? Huh? Hold on. Just who, who is that person first? You are an international guest? Yes. Where are you coming from? I'm coming from USC, St. Texas. Okay. Your uncle is a policeman. Yes, sir. Not your brother. No, my brother, what my of, uncle. What of this one? Why are you here, my, my dear? My uncle is a policeman, sir. Huh? My uncle is a policeman. Where? The uh, in Kaduna, sir. Kaduna? Yes, sir. The lady? Kefi. Hold on, hold on. Yes, this lady. Kefi. Uh-uh. Kefi. Kefi. Yes, sir. Who? That one? My uncle. My uncle. Where? Here, in Abuja. In Abuja? Yes, sir. Whose uncle... Is a policeman in the south 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 where in benin benin those states where huh plateau is not south south plateau is middle belt where huh? come again onicha where port harcourt yes. benin onicha uh, this death i'm seeing is happening in the south south they are going to go and raid something and I'm seeing them part of those that were, are gruesomely killed. Don't feel bad. This now I'm not a prophet of doom. Cross River is already dead. No problem. We feel sad. May so rest in peace. I'm talking of the one that is alive right now. Don't be afraid. I want to pray for you, madam, and all of you. South South. I will pray for everyone, but I'm seeing this South South. It's an operation that they went for. Maybe to, you know, their normal duty as police people, but I'm not seeing him return. And the way that they kill that man is a bad way. It's not like maybe it's just a gunshot. It's like this guy's um, seen a, a very cruel death. But I pray for you. You came here tonight. He says, as for me and my house, in the name of Jesus, everyone here, and I'm praying for police officers across this nation, in the name of Jesus, you will go for your operations and return back. You will go for your operations and return back in the name of jesus every programming of death using the official duties of your loved ones that they will go for operations and yet not return 
whether it's your father your uncle your loved one in the name of jesus i send a prophetic word ahead of them let it protect them till they return in the name of jesus now i pray for you and you sir by the power of the holy spirit every altar that will not let you rest do you know listen to me even salvation you have a right to reject it talk less altars are we together as as a as a human being you can choose to say jesus i've heard your message but i reject you and god will respect your choice he will prevail upon you he will encourage people to push you to the cross but he will not force you no altar has a right to force anyone to say you must carry it it's a lie it's against the way the realm of the spirit works even god jesus christ said behold i stand at the door and knock the door of the heart of his creation no herbalist and no demonic thing should come and say if you don't carry the priesthood you will fail i'm telling you now from the authority of scripture it's a lie i pray for you sir i pray for you my friend and all of you who have been victims of this thing for no matter how long this has been and the negative consequences that have followed you i stretch my hands towards you be set free this moment be set free this moment all the visions and the dreams you have of oppressions they come to an end now the lord is healing people of blood diseases blood diseases this is what i'm hearing blood diseases all of you in front here i decree and declare your liberty is confirmed your liberty is established there is a lady you came here with the issue of blood just like our sister who was sharing a testimony here in fact it was as if she was describing you as i'm speaking right now the power of the holy ghost is coming upon you that demonic oppressive flow of blood sometimes you feel dizzy because of how much blood you have lost this is what i'm seeing in my vision in the name that is above all names may the lord bring you healing permanently Amen. healing permanently Amen. lay your hands on your body right now you are trusting god for a miracle a healing miracle go ahead place your hand and i want you to believe place your hand and i want you to believe koinonia is a place of healing place your hand and i want you to believe 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 Jesus still heals my God Jesus still delivers now here's what will happen as I speak some of you whilst you came here the healing power of the of God had rested upon you as I pray for you right now I want you remember the instruction I gave you while I was teaching I want you to check yourself and don't sit back when you see that the anointing of the spirit has touched you whether you are outside whether you are inside some of you came on wheelchairs some of you came holding crutches some of you hearing aids some of you came with various parts of your body unable to move mobility issues some of you came you look healthy but there are all kinds of growths and satanic manifestations in your body some of you organ failures some of you various parts of your body your eyes your ears some of you need creative miracles because as it stands you have damaged organs in your body and what a joy to know that our miracle services are being aired across hospitals clinics wards it is such an honor to be able to bring the power of jesus to hospitals and by the way let me take a moment to thank the cmds or the various heads of the units or the hospitals who air our miracle services it's an honor for us to be able to bring the healing power of jesus to as many who we may never see and may never know place your hand um i'm going to pray for you now but there are two people one two who will shout under the anointing the moment they shout under the anointing loud to the hearing of everybody the healing power of jesus begins to flow sometimes like i've told you i don't know why god does these things the way he does but i believe that he does that probably to build the faith of the people and then to let you know that the god who can program something this accurate how do you make mention of two people and say people are going to shout under the anointing you see how in the world do you explain that so 
I want to pray for you. Now you lay your hands and play something. Play the strings for me. And then we begin to pray. I want you to believe. You don't have to go back with that sickness. You're on crutches. You cannot walk. Get ready now. As I pray for you, don't be afraid. Lift it up. And then you begin to walk. You have an earring aid. You remove it and test yourself. You came with someone. I want you to believe as you receive. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you. I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus. Who is the son of the living God? Every devil, every demonic spirit that is back of any infirmity, blood related, bone related, organ failure related, mobility problem related, it doesn't matter what form or fashion, every contribution of any unclean spirit to your current health condition, your current health status, in the name of Jesus, we dislodge that influence from your body now. We stay the power of that spirit from your body now. Shout a believing amen. I decree right now. He commanded us to heal the sick. And I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. The one who died and rose again. Be healed now. My God. I just sense fire literally leaving my hands. Be healed now. Be healed now. High blood pressure be healed now. HIV be healed now. Bone problems be healed now. You could not walk. Lift your crutches and begin to walk now. Bone problems be healed now. Ear problems be healed now. Liver problems be healed now lumps growths and every kind of protrusions around your body i command it to die now there's someone you have a swelling somewhere inside your mouth i don't know where that is but in the name of jesus the lord is healing you now supernaturally the lord is telling me that there's someone you have a growth around your private area this thing you've tried to treat it and treat it and treat it it's been excruciating pain and embarrassment but i stretch my hands the lord is healing you now Amen. you were using a cotton board like an ear board and it moved inside from that time you've had pain and discomfort in your ear your right ear the power of god is touching you now Amen. in the name of jesus the left side of your nostril has a problem there is a very discomforting feeling you've had this for years it's lingered for years the left side of your nostril the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ there is a lady here you are not pregnant but you've been having the symptoms of a pregnant woman your stomach has not protruded but when you read about the things that happen to a pregnant woman especially a across the first trimester these are the things happening to you it's a demonic thing i'm praying for you now be delivered from that negative experience your right eye you're not able to see very well with it there's a burning sensation be healed now there's someone i don't know if he's pile but you cannot sit down comfortably on a chair for a long time you begin to feel severe pain and discomfort the power of god is touching you now Amen. there's someone you were told in the hospital i don't know what organ maybe your heart or so that it is surrounded by fats and you will need maybe some medical attention else is going to hurt you i pray for that person right now in jesus name let mercy find you Amen let mercy find you i once prayed for this case and the lord is showing me again you have a severe case of snoring whether you lie down or sit down the moment you are asleep you snore so loud 
that people around you hear it's been very embarrassing it has nothing to do with being good or bad it's, it's something that uh, there is a medical name i believe for it but god wants to heal that person in the name of jesus whatever it is that is around your respiratory system responsible for that discomfort and that anomaly be healed from it now be healed from it now the lord is asking me to speak over a woman you are married you've never been able to get pregnant it's not that you lost the pregnancy it has never happened never you've not been able to get pregnant in the name of jesus wherever you are inside or any of the overflows outside or connected online by reason of this prayer let the power of the holy spirit rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now rest upon you now Amen. there's someone i need to pray for you you are losing your teeth you've lost a number of them a significant number of them and if i don't pray for you you are told in the hospital that you have a condition that is literally spreading and you you stand a chance of losing your entire teeth in jesus name wherever you are following or here on site be healed by the power of the holy spirit Amen. If you came with a picture or point of contact for any sick person lift it up and pray now in the name that is above all names for your loved ones represented the photos the materials the medical reports that are lifted your phones i see their pictures in the name of jesus christ i bring the healing power of jesus to such persons amen. shout a believing amen. amen shout a believing amen again amen. the lord is showing me someone when you go to bed you have a choking feeling it's as if there is a spirit that literally comes to choke your neck you have to struggle to wake up a similar thing happened to me for a, a great part of my life so i understand exactly spirits used to come and oppress me even when i started ministry i used to have that at the infancy of ministry you see that i mean you, you are sleeping and you know you are hearing people conversations but to wake up it looks like you are struggling i'm praying for someone now anyone who has had or is having that experience i set you free by the power of the holy spirit i set you free by the power of the holy spirit the lord is healing someone from stammering 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 be healed now there's a gentleman you are not able to bend over backwards you are a young man but it looks based on what is happening in your body it's almost as if you're in your 60s you're unable to freely bend over backwards and bend downwards in jesus name the power of god is touching you now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus the son of the living god receive your healing now outside receive your healing all the overflows receive your healing online receive your healing across the airwaves receive your healing in the main auditorium here receive your healing in the name of jesus christ now everybody while you are standing i want you to begin to pray and declare that what you have received is finding expression in your life hold on and then for all those i want you to check yourself you find out that there's a miracle that has happened to you leave your seat in a hurry and come and stand here very quickly we're going to have a few people so please if you come late you might not have a chance to testify very quickly check yourself you see that there's a miracle do what you could not do if you came with someone help them release their faith as soon as a miracle happens please make your way very quickly to the front we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll be praying over the request but go ahead and pray everyone decree and declare that this that i have received these that i have received let's celebrate miracles while we pray those coming from outside please protocol direct them so that they come quickly and then if you're coming from any of the overflows please let the ushers or protocol know that you are coming to testify and then they make room for you there are many who are coming give jesus praise while you pray 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 over yourself gentlemen you sing that song once for me again from start till yakare and then we are ready to take a few testimonies check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while we are taking the testimonies how many of you are, you are ready with your prayer requests by the way how many of you believe that god answers prayers amen do you believe that right so very quickly whilst we're here 
please if you are yet to submit your prayer request here's what you do just pass it to anyone by the left or the right extremes of your aisle and then ushers will just come to pick it don't worry it's your request nobody's reading it this is between you and god but just to facilitate it especially for all the overflows those online there should be a link for you to send in your request we'll do that very fast while we're taking the testimonies and i want you to celebrate every testimony no matter how big or small they all came by the power of god are we together now so i want you to celebrate very generously as god is moving through his people and we'll make this really really very fast the more you thank god for his hand in the midst of his people this is one thing i learned from kenneth e hagan from tl osborne and most of the people who were mightily used by god especially in the area of healing right from the times when god began to do supposedly little things little healings i would celebrate every manifestation of his hand very generously and sincerely with a heart of gratitude so this is one of the ways that you scale in the operation of the healing anointing to be grateful for everything that he does ready guys okay so let's take let's take the testimonies yes sir very quickly your name right. and straight to the point i'm antonia antony so i came here with pains from my armpit to you came here with pains yeah from my armpit how long has that been for two weeks now okay so when you said two people will be under the anointing yes i was under the anointing and when i got up like, completely lift your hands down yeah. lift it again Not gone forever yeah, yeah. in the name of jesus perfection for you in jesus name we pray amen give jesus a big hand clap next person please good evening sir my name is daniel i came with pastor hillary I always found myself as public speaking because I'm a stammering person. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. You were a stammerer? Sir, he was healed from stammering. Really? Yes. I, al I always found myself. Hallelujah. How long has this been? It has been a long time. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. So I always found it difficult. But now, I could speak very well. Hallelujah. My God. Most of you don't know. This was Moses' problem. Oh. Moses complained about this thing before God. Stammering. It limits you. You want to express yourself, but you are incapacitated. This is a miracle, my God. I pray for you, my friend. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is how every other thing in your life will flow seamlessly. Amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person. Yes, sir. Good evening, Kononia. My name is Kletus. I was having growth on my throat. I was feeling... Uh, growth? Yes, he had a growth. So okay. he had problems swallowing. Wow. So I find it difficult to swallow. But when you mentioned the case concerning growth, now I can swallow my spit. You can swallow yes, sir. freely in Jesus' name. Healed and perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. One more person and then we'll move to the other side. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Timson Johnson. I used to have a pen inside my mouth but immediately after how long has that been it has been for like one week yes after the prayer immediately it's gone it's gone completely it never returns to you again in the name of jesus yes go ahead apostle you gave a word of knowledge of those with eye defects now yes. she went to the hospital last year and she was diagnosed of suspected glycoma and dry eye syndrome so she couldn't see in fact, when she came, she see her that difficulty, but yes. now she can see the screen, she can see you. You can see me? Yes, sir. Clearly? Yes, sir. How long has this been? Um, the diagnosis was in November. Yes. But recently it became worse. I had to buy some supplements last week. Mm. As I came this evening, I was outside and I couldn't see the screen very well. And now? My right, but now I could see well. Then, can you count how many fingers? Yes, four. One. Three. No, no. Okay, this is making a mistake two five give jesus praise then i Amen. also had I also had, I also had a pain in my abdomen here i also went for scan last year they didn't see anything but i've been having this sharp pain so unco yes. unco uncomfortable uncomfortable so as you were praying i just felt this sharp pain just left me outside of everything outside. that is not planted by god that is how it will live your life forever Amen. May God bless you, my dear. Never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. You gave a word of knowledge of a woman feeling, having a sign of pregnancy. Now, she has had that for the past three years. But when you make mention of that, the power three of God years. came on. Yes, over three years. 
I'll be always feeling as if I'm pregnant. Sometimes my stomach will even come up. My friend will be touching me, are you pregnant? I'll say no. My but God. when you said the word, I don't know how I was feeling. Even when I was coming, I was somehow feeling. Even my abdomen was burning me, but I can't feel it anymore. Bless your hand there. I can't feel it. In Jesus' name, healed forever Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. God bless you. Next person. Apostle, this is a footballer. He was hit on the pitch, and so he had difficulty in walking oh, and dear. squatting. But when you ministered, the power of God came on him, and well, now footballer. he can squat. Where? So I, it was on my left leg. I was trying to guide the boss, so he hit me. I felt my groin, my left ankle. Yes. That at any time. What were you not able to do? So I could not twist it. I could not even climb the staircase to the house. Run. Complaining. Run like a footballer. Squat. Look at this. Amen. Where do you play? So for now, I'm just playing on home base team. You really want to move forward in your profession? Yes, Is sir. that what you want to do? Yes, sir. Yes. There is a king maker anointing. You see, listen, listen. King makers never become kings themselves but they enthrone and dethrone kings. I pray for you, my friend, if you believe in the name of Jesus, the grace that lifts men from nothing and announces them to their generation. May that grace, even as touching your sports, may that grace rest upon you now. Go and excel. May God bring strategic destiny helpers that will take you out of this country and announce you to your world. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next, please. Very quickly. Apostle, another case of a sign of pregnancy since last year. A sign of pregnancy. My name is Jacqueline. I'm from Tanzania. You're from Tanzania? Yes. Okay. So, since last year, September, I've been having, like, signs of pregnancy. And every time I go to, I'm not married, but every time I go to the hospital, they'll tell me, like, it's nothing. But I feel pregnant. Like... The, I feel, you know, yes. yes, I feel like pregnant. So you mentioned that uh, that case today. But another thing, when I came here, I was okay. When you told us to shout like hallelujah, the seventh one, like I fell, and, and when they brought me here, I started having a very strong headache. So we have at our home a pattern of migraine, a very strong migraine for years. Mm. And for me, it will always come at the point whenever I'm fasting. I'll get serious migraines until I, I'm taken to the hospital. Yes. So after falling down there it started like paining me so hard but when I stood and I go back to my seat you told us that uh, if just hold the place where I sit then I held my head and I told God because I didn't believe that okay can it really happen now so I was like I told God if you do it for me really now I'm going to testify I told God because I didn't believe that okay right can now. happen now but right now as I say I'm not feeling pain at all nothing completely completely Jesus still heals now. God bless you, my dear. Perfection for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take one more there. Our mommy here couldn't twist her hand for a very long time. Yes, go ahead. Let me do finger. It has been a pain for the past uh, three weeks, close to a month. Yes. I've not been able to bend it like this. But when you said we should keep doing whatever, when you were praying, yes. I kept doing my hand like this. I didn't feel the pain. Now I can bend it very well. Because I can even take it back. And it's a great relief to me. In I've used so many ointments, but it's still not working. But I thank God. Perfection for you right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Hold on. Before we take this, listen. I want you to know that miracles are real. They really happen. You will be amazed to know how many people who are in church who sit in the presence of real miracles, but they are still yet to be sure. Miracles are real. Not everybody is faking this thing. There are real miracles that happen by the hand of God. Are we together? My dream is that sooner or later, miracle services will no longer be for koinonia members. It will be an act of evangelism that for many people who are of this fold when you come there will really be nothing to heal and nothing to pray for because you would have so mastered the keys of the kingdom 
what you do it will just be an opportunity for growth and increase while bringing many others to receive that's how it ought to be are we together now yes go ahead my friend yes sir so apostle you gave a profound word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding someone that actually stuck a cutting board in his ears right one it was you yes sir okay when you mentioned my case that the person that is using cutting boot this early January, then it start bringing blood. So me and my friend, I say, ah, he say sorry. I say by God's grace, my papa will heal me. And you mentioned the person that he go to hospital feeling that something that it will affect his chest or all this thing. You say perfection is healing is coming. Yes. How do you feel now? I'm healed. I'm okay. Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. The Lord brings you perfection. He brings you life, even by His Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Hallelujah. I came here with a, a pile problem that happened two weeks ago. I complained this to my friend. And my friend says to me that, how long have been? Just came to me for a three days. For a three days that it just came at once. And I started feeling the pain. When I go to the restroom, I cannot, I cannot uh, uh, excrete very well. Then I would, it's not the one that used to come out, but it's uh, that one that it pains me. It pains me. Yes. But and what happened to you I now? I kept on praying. When I came. Here, so, sir, he actually came with the pain. After you prayed, he went to check himself and he's And you're fine he completely. Fine. Both of you? My yes. Own, my own is fine. So, as I go inside the bedroom, I check, everything was gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let's listen to Mama's testimony. Someone help her. Have you checked her? Let's hear her. Okay. All right, Mama, go ahead. Okay. Okay, let's go. Um, Daddy, Mama said that she could not see properly with her two eyes and that she always needed aid to move around. When you prayed about the right eye, the left eye opened. So she walked by herself without aid from the back to the front. So she said she was going to give the testimony. Although you said the right eye, the left eye opened. That she was able to come here yes, by, by herself, herself unaided. Who came with her? She came alone? I, I came with my daughter. She aided me to church. To church? Uh, no, that's fine. That's all right for sake of time. Okay, so what happened to her now, Mama? What has happened to you? Very quickly, my God. The, I, the left one has opened. Two of them was involved. They Two were of involved. them were blind before. Yes. One is open now. Uh, open a letter that made me to walk from here. No, don't worry, Mama. Listen. To here. Sir? That's your mom, That's my dear? Right. Yes, sir. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. How has it been for her before now? Very quickly. She even had a surgery last year yes but since then she has not been seeing well even yes. when we came i was holding her but after the prayers she was able to walk from that place to this place my god in the name of jesus christ please help me place your hand on her eyes i declare perfection that god who began this you see how powerful this thing is you see that one miracle has begun in her life it's not been perfected yet but when you give God thanks for something that has started, are you seeing that now? Yes, this is called the walking of miracles. In Jesus' name, Mama, we pray that God will perfect you completely. The God that opened the left eye, may he open the right eye and perfect you completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. We have, okay. Apostle, when we did vaccination, she tested hepatitis B, positive but okay. as she was ministering then she went back to the medical stand and this is the doctor they conducted the test twice and she's negative negative for hepatitis i'm negative you are praying for for swelling around the tooth then a sharp pain came out from my back i, I bent down, i shouted then i checked the swell it was not there it's gone then i now run to the medical stand mm. that's when they checked this hepatitis b twice and it was gone completely yes let me hear from the doctor good evening daddy so she came to the stand that she wants to run hepatitis test so i did the first one it was negative so i wasn't sure i had to call my colleague i come and check what i see he told me the result so to confirm again i had to do the test a second time and to god be the glory it came out negative as amen well. In the name of Jesus, perfected 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, God bless you. Yes, please. You mentioned a case of pain in the air as a result of cutting board. She has the challenge, and when you ministered, the pain is gone. Gone she forever. Can hear clearly now. Yes, right. When you mentioned the case of um, cutting board in the right ear, it happened to me last year, and since then, I when it happened, I poured oil and then I tried to turn my head the other side to think to see if it would come out. It didn't come out, and since then, anytime I blink, I feel the movements, but I've not known how to how to bring it out. When you mentioned it. The, 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 the movement, it kind of, it was up and down, it sees, but when you... You when, used to feel it, yes, that there's something inside your ear. Yes, every time I blink my eye. When you mentioned it, I was still thinking, contemplation, should I come out yes. or not? Because it was still moving. But then I remembered what you said, that once you mentioned our case, we should just come out with faith. And since I've been, been on the queue, I've not felt anything again. In Jesus' name, you will never, never feel that demonic thing again. It dematerializes and leaves you forever in Jesus' name. Let's take a few with Pastor Jakes. Yes, sir. Good evening, Koenonia. My name is Banu Adam Rema. Uh, I came here with neck pain. But neck the pain? Yes, exactly. Okay. And now? Uh, no, I'm not feeling Move it left and right. Any pain? Yes. Completely gone. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, next person. I was having pain this afternoon when I came to church. Even while I, while I was dancing, I tried to even this this bottom here. I was having the pain, so I even danced. I was dancing; the pain was still there, but I keep dancing. After the prayer, the pain has gone. Gone completely. Yes, sir. Same thing happened. I had pains all over my abdominal region. I, I was fatigued, tired. I was just trying to cope, but when Daddy mentioned people with pains, I took it upon myself to That's say right. amen. I shake my body and I feel And it's better gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare perfection for you both. Supernatural perfection. That pain dies. It leaves your body forever. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Very quickly. All right, uh, sir. Let's Similar see if we can case. take two or three more. Praise mm. God. Praise God. Okay, I came from Benin because I was having a lot of health challenges, especially with my feet. A strong feet. anointing is going to come on two people. One of them will start running. Please hold the person right now. Very strong anointing is going to come on one person. And that, that is a very dramatic empowerment. It's a very unique grace that will speak in the person's place of work. This is what I'm saying. One of them will start running. Hold the person so they don't injure themselves. Hold that lady. She's an usher. She's an usher herself. That lady is an usher. So let her receive before she gets back to do her work. She's an usher. You see that ushers too can receive. Just because you are walking, the Holy Spirit does not care. If your heart is open, you can receive. She's an usher. Please help her. Once she receives her own, she can go back and do her work. What a good way to serve. Like you are serving and you are receiving yourself. Hallelujah. There is still one more person. Please don't, don't mind me. Let me do my thing. I know when God is done, there is still one more person. In the congregation, not balcony, not around. One person in the congregation. So God does these things because he's responding to the hunger of people. You see, it is God who knows the troubles, the things that plague God's people the answer to our problem is always the anointing coming through the word coming through prophetic ministrations there's one more person and then we get back to finalizing the testimony mm. mighty god you deserve the praise worthy is your name help me You are in this place and you are a businessman. The door of business has been closed since November last year. Nothing has happened to move you forward. I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is the major reason why you came. I said before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. 
the Lord is setting before you a very strange open door that from tonight no power will be able to shut that door I'm saying it to you April is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies April is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies I prophesy this to you if you believe it receive it and let it find expression in your life in the name of Jesus Christ people who never heard about your business there are angels that will noise your product noise your services abroad and you will receive mysterious calls calls that will lead to your rising calls that will restore you financially in the name of Jesus please be seated yes go ahead praise God so I came from Benin yesterday uh -huh. because I'm having a lot of health challenges health challenges especially with my feet my feet I can't stand for more than three minutes and I can't sleep at night so I came to church by eight today because I really wanted a change while you were ministering I was not able to stand I was sitting down on my seat and then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before my leg that was paining me because of diabetes you had diabetes my god look at this your leg is not paining me again and i can stand which of them my dear Both of them. go ahead and walk diabetes Both of them. she came here from benin from benin he does these things that men will fear him he does these things that men will praise him you see you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one the day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do the day all the helpers the bible says that woman with the issue of blood she was not careless she spent all her earnings not some not part all her earnings on physicians and the bible says she did not feel better in any way when you exhaust your options and medical science as limited as it is is not able to help you that's when you will know the value of a miracle sometimes you see people looking very healthy but then they are plagued with cancer plagued with whatever some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations don't share the grace and just go back home and forget go to the hospital if our medical team is not able to check you which i doubt make sure that you go and check yourself and confirm your miracle my dear in the name of jesus the lord brings you perfection and everything you've lost or wasted as a result of this let it be restored to you amen in the name of jesus christ amen amen and amen hallelujah let's have three more here and three more there then we speak over the rest for sake of time go ahead so sir maybe we yes sir yes if, if there are similar cases you can just combine them together healed so he had a spirit leave him he had a spirit leave you yes. sir yes, sir. okay you what did you feel i came here with a terrible headache headache noise noise in the, in the head uh-huh so the moment you began to pray against yes. evil altars i literally felt that just left you felt when the spirits left yeah and the headache is totally them gone by they go for good Amen. they are not needed Amen. they should go somewhere else but as far as your destiny is concerned you are free and free forever Amen. Amen. in jesus name amen and amen yes please so sir we have a few testimonies online though um so okay. all these ones they've been healed knee knee she pain had a problem with her knee and she yes. got healed yeah daddy my, my name my name's uh darling i'm having i'm a footballer i'm having a serious footballer pain. again yes, father we thank you in the name of jesus for this miracle and we pray not only will god heal you like he's done but may he lift you and may you be exalted in your career in the name of jesus I understand there are many many miracles now listen because we're limited there's only so much a miracle service those days uh, when the fathers held miracle services it stretched for hours and even days and so we try to manage within the time that we have um, so my apologies if you do come out and we're not able to do justice to your testimony remember you can always submit it and for those of you who connect online everybody here and the entire koinonia global family I presume that you should be connected to all our platforms. If you are not right away, after service, you can connect. Connect on YouTube, connect on Facebook, Instagram, and do let others know. Do let others know 
that this is what God is doing so that they can connect, receive updates, faith building updates. One thing you can be sure of is that on all our social pl media platforms, there is nothing there that is non-edifying to your spiritual life. Our media team have been trained. Anything you find on a social media platform, if you find nonsense on any platform, it does not belong to us. It may just be scammers or people writing nonsense, but anything you find on any Koinonia global platform, whether here or any other expressions, Azaria platform, US, Canada, UK, or any other expression, we have a creed, we have a rule. The only things that are posted are the things that will help you to be transformed, to know Jesus, and to inspire you through a great life. Okay, so please do well to take advantage of all our social media platforms. Very quickly, yes, sir. Okay, sir. We just have one last one, maybe a few online before. Yes, okay. Sorry, sir. So quickly, just. Okay, my name is Swachet. Um, while I was down, when you prayed about back pain, immediately I felt relief, but I was still reluctant to come up. My husband yes. and I said, just go and testify. So, I, I came and actually the back pain is no more there and yes I'm free. Bend and see. Check. Any pain? Gone forever. Yes, God bless you. It never returns to you again. So Kenny let's have one or two online. Apostle, Apostle this is from Peace. My daughter's case was mentioned. It's called an enlarged adenoid which causes her to snore at night while she is sleeping. My baby of nine months has been fighting with this since she was four months and has been on antibiotics every month. Doctors even said she may be operated upon when she gets to one year old. But today, God has healed her completely. Amen. At the mention of that case, I have checked her and she is sleeping right now but not snoring anymore. Come on, give Jesus Hallelujah. Praise. Apostle, this is a second one yes. from Goma. Apostle Joshua Selma mentioned a pain which he said comes when I sit, and he thought it was pile, but I knew it was an injured coccyx, well, that causes me pain when I sit. In August 2020, I missed the top step in our staircase at home, and I fell down on my bottom. And since that time, my coccyx causes me pain. When I sit in any chair, at work, in the car, or in the train or a bus, I have been bouncing on our couch, couch and the pain is totally gone. Completely gone. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Jesus is alive. The last one here, Apostle, is yes. from Bright. I used to have this hooking pain on my chest. Sometimes it comes from both sides and sometimes from the right side mm. of my chest. I've gone for test and scan and they said nothing is wrong. But I kept getting the pain for over a year now. And just after the prayer, I received my healing. Now I can breathe in deeply without feeling pain. Amen. Praise God. Let's give Jesus praise. Can we have one, two last ones? Yes, please. Go ahead. Pain in the ankle, pain at the knee, and pain at the back. That sometimes it cannot stand for long. It even falls. And it's gone now. Pain is gone. Perfected completely. forever. He Perfect. fell in the pool and then he had difficulty in lifting up his leg. But and now, now you are able to lift it. Let's give Jesus praise. Completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Low blood pressure healed. Low blood pressure. Yes, Perfected sir. forever. Never returns to you in the name of Jesus. Pain in the teeth. and am Papa, I've been having severe back pain at my lower spine. Yes. If I bend down for a very long time, I will experience very severe pain. I will not be able to do anything. But right now, it's gone. Completely. Amen. Now, for all of you who are left, my sincere apologies again. You can always come by next week or during the week. Register your testimonies and our media team will do justice to let the world know what God has done as you allow. I declare perfection for all of you in the name of Jesus. Whether you were able to make it out um, here to testify or otherwise, in the name of Jesus, we declare perfection by the power of the Holy Spirit. Rise up on your feet, please. Stretch your hands towards your request. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found that. Truly, I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found that. Why do we pray? 
Because God answers prayers. Why do we pray? Because he's asked us to use prayer as a platform to make petitions and to obtain requests. Why do we pray? Because it's a platform that allows for intercession. Meaning that you can reach someone who is not here kilometers, nations, continents apart. Like the centurion advocated for his son. Like Jarius's or the daughter, Jarius's daughter. You see that now. Make sure you understand why we pray. It's not a ritual. If you reduce it to a ritual, it has no power to deliver again. Believing that, let me request that you stretch your hands online, on site, outside, all the overflows. I will bow my knees to God as a sign of uh, um, humility and in a posture of intercession. And in one minute, I'd like you to speak to the Lord before I make declarations. Father, visit me. Go ahead, participate in your miracle. I like prayer requests because they are the most accurate representations of your faith. When we prophesy, we see in part and we're limited um, by time. When we minister to people, there's only so much we can minister, we can do. But when people submit their requests, um, you've taken your time to write these things. And the Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Go ahead and pray. So I'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact. Please don't be silent. Make declarations. I will return with a testimony. The Lord is turning my sorrow to dancing, my mourning uh, to joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is leaving my life. That includes those who are falling online. Go ahead. In the name of Jesus Christ. Shapratus Kaligra Panda Kashada Braga de Belegeta Shadem Brese Baraso Kasada Braske Lakas. Father, we thank you. In the name of Jesus, I release faith over these requests. Representations of the pain, the burdens, the worries of your people. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Are you releasing your faith with me? Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Miracles of fruitfulness. Miracles of advancement. Miracles of restoration. Miracles of strength. Job opportunities. Marital open doors. Celebration of children. Twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration strategic relationships that you have lost may God restore koinonia shout amen may God restore what happened to Esther that lifted her? May it happen to you. Ah, someone who has faith to believe. What happened to Esther that took her from Shushan to the palace? May it happen to you. What happened to Ruth? May it happen to you. What happened to Abraham that caused Abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources? May it happen to you. What happened to Gideon? that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to Lot on account of his connection with Abraham may it happen to you anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried. I cancel that statement. We cancel that statement. Cancel that statement. For you and your spouse, canceled. For you and your children, canceled. For you and your parents, canceled. Anyone here trusting God for a job, I bow my knees to the God of our Father and I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, by next miracle service, return with your employment letter. 
and hear me believe in prophecy anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with god not allowing you go to church not allowing you serve god that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise may god relocate you to another job in the name of jesus there is a grace for influence and visibility that grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you we are privileged stewards of that grace and in the name of jesus the son of the living god i place that anointing on your life believe it i place that anointing on your destiny strangers will look for you from across the nations of the earth may they find you they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of Jesus anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach may my God by his hand upon your life may he vindicate you this season Koinonia, anyone called barren prepare for your children coming I say it again anyone called barren this is the year you carry your children hmm. I feel led to pray for people who are trusting God for structural establishment a house a car if you don't believe it allow those who believe it to receive but in the name of jesus for anyone trusting god for structural establishment in 30 days from now in the name that is above all names and i say this prophetically may my god surprise you beyond your savings beyond your current resources may my god surprise you houses you did not build vehicles you don't have the money to pay for let favor bring it to your doorstep hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you those who can reward you for your gift may they find you in the name of Jesus therefore I declare over these requests by the power of the Holy Spirit the next request you will be writing will be for others not for yourself again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen the hands that are lifted no power will bring them down your hand represents your productivity I say it again the hands that are lifted not by witchcraft not the wickedness of men not the antagonisms of negative people no power will bring your hand down no power will silence your voice surely they will gather but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you and i want you to receive this whatever makes you use your money to service sickness use your money to service police cases court cases you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of god upon your life that god has been faithful but your money is always used to resolve tragedy from today may tragedy be too late for your life did you hear what i said may tragedy be too late for your life too late for your life too late for your business too late for your ministry too late for your family in the name of jesus shout a sevenfold amen two three four five six seven give jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory
Hallelujah. Because you have believed it, prepare to come and stand here testifying. Because you have believed it, prepare to stand here to testify. In Jesus' name I pray. Keep standing everyone. You need Jesus. You need him now. You need him more than anything else in your life. We shouldn't end tonight's service without giving you an opportunity to come to Jesus. When I began my teaching, preaching about salvation and the gospel, everything I said struck a chord in your spirit. You are saying, Apostle, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Can I join them? I'm not ashamed to declare that I need Jesus. For others, you are saying, I'm coming for the first time. I'm at the back, far back. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm outside. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm counting one to five. For those who seriously need Jesus, not playing games with their Christian experience, that you are saying today, if the trumpet should sound, I want to be among those who will gloriously exit in joy and with victory. Leave your seat and come. God bless you. I'm counting one to five. Young and old, male or female, there is always room at the cross. Come. Come very quickly two i count five and then i begin my prayer take your bags your bibles everything you came to church with please be on your way to the altar come three koinonia let's encourage them as they come four Apostle, I want to come, but my family members are with me, around me. I'm ashamed to come, not with the matters of your destiny, your eternal destiny. Leave them and come. Leave them and come. You came with friends, you came with family, but make your way to Jesus. It's a personal affair. You need to be born again. You have to be born again. In the name of Jesus. You're unable to come right here. You can move to your LED screens any of the overflows outside for those connecting online or any viewing center across the nations of the earth do well to just move to the front i'm sure that there are people there who can help you and lead you to jesus else please pray this prayer with me thank you for all of you who are here place one hand on your chest and lift the other as a sign of surrender please say this as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word I have seen your power i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life forever from today i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backwards never amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you we honor you father for these ones who have come declaring your lordship over their lives and based on the integrity and the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God. The grace to walk perpetually in victory. Let it be released upon you. I commend you to the ministry of the word. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. May you be grounded and established in righteousness. You go forward from hence and never backwards. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap.